Today, I want to talk about a really cool new blood test that was devised to screen for Alzheimer's disease. The test was devised by Japanese and Australian scientists, and the study testing its efficacy was published in the journal Nature. While the test method and the research behind it are still in their early stages, the results are promising, and they warrant further study, so it's, it's exciting to see where this technology will go. A little bit of background. Alzheimer's disease is a neurodegenerative disorder. It's a brain disease caused by the buildup of protein plaques around the neurons, and it's ultimately terminal. It's a terrible disease, too, because it's characterized by decaying cognitive function, an increasing inability to remember things and recognize people, even family members. And in the later stages, the symptoms amount to a total collapse in the patient's ability to live on their own. The disease progresses over years, and it takes root long before any symptoms begin to show. This new testing method looks in the blood for fragments of the Alzheimer's proteins, called amyloid beta biomarkers. The fragments were labeled based on the section of the total protein that they represented, like A beta 142, or amyloid beta precursor protein 669 to 711. They tested this method on healthy people, on people with what was called mild cognitive impairment, and on individuals with all-out Alzheimer's disease. They found that the test method could detect the Alzheimer's proteins with 90% accuracy, which is relatively good. The downside is that there's not much we can do with this information once we have it, as far as treating the patient is concerned. However, this doesn't mean that the test is useless or meaningless. To the contrary, this test can be used in clinical trials looking for treatments and cures for Alzheimer's by measuring the levels of amyloid beta fragments in the blood and by allowing researchers to track any changes that might occur thanks to a treatment or a drug therapy. This tool basically enables much more refined research into Alzheimer's treatments by giving scientists and doctors an inexpensive, reliable diagnostic method to detect these characteristic proteins way in the early stages of the disease's progression. This is excellent news for the future of Alzheimer's research.